one of the most educational things you can do to learn some science is to look in things around you. Here's a technical gadget you've probably all got in your kitchens, called a microwave oven, of course. That's what it looks like normally. But, of course, you can start taking it to part. You can look and what, see what's inside. This one is unusual in that it doesn't have a rotating terminal, t a turntable. It has instead a rotating uh, device called a mode shifter, which stops hot spots developing in the microwave. We'll see how this exactly works in a moment. Here's the control panel with the microprocessor. And here is the fan, which does three things in this... Uh, uh, machine, it rotates, okay, and that creates a draft which cools the microwave valve. We'll get back to that in a moment, and it also sweeps air out of the machine, keeps it from getting clagged up with steam, and it also makes the mode shifter inside rotate. So there's three things that fan. The microwave is a, a valve. It's called a magnetron. It has two large magnets. It has here an electron gun. That electron beam is then made to go in and out of cavities between these magnets, creating the gigahertz frequency um, field, radio frequency field which heats your food. And that then goes in through this microwave conducting channel into the chamber and, and to heating, heating your food. This here is the power source. That converts the power from mains power to the correct voltages for operating the magnetron valve. Fascinating. Whole cornucopia of parts inside.